Hi. Last time we added user roles into our web application and we had administrators who were able to access their product catalog for configuration. However, our users were not able to be directed to anything useful. So today we're going to start writing a user controller that will integrate proper views for the user role. So let's get started. I have here an example of what we want the product catalog to look like for users. And so I'm going to start writing a view, uh, which I want to call from the user controller in a few moments. Uh, this view is going to be based on the index PHP from the product catalog. So basically the catalog view for the uh, administrators. So let me just copy that and now I'll make a new folder for the user views and a new file where I'll just paste in that index code and save it as index.php. Okay, so I want this product catalog to look slightly different from the uh, administrator view because, well, right now uh, the administrator only gets a list. So what I want to use is something that looks like cards, a uh, card style, which is used in, in some sites. Now, um, this is not a web design course as in, you know, the style and everything. So I'm not going to cover uh, everything about this. You can go grab a design somewhere and integrate it into your web application views. Um, so I have a part which is the style sheet, embedded style sheet, and another part which is the uh, HTML which is going to get output. So this should get output as part of the echo in the for each loop. And I will put it in in that location. Now, since we are echoing as part of a string which has double quotation marks, we have to modify these uh, double quotation marks. So we will basically search and replace these uh, with single quotation marks. So we replace one by one, just making sure we're not going over. There we go. Okay, so now we have our card, which is going to be output from the item variable. So the card has a few features to it. It has an image source. All of our images are going to come from slash images. And then we need to have an item file name. So item arrow file name. Um, we're going to have a product name. So the item name, you know, I just took that from this location. I'm going to leave this style as is. Uh, this is the product name again. So again, item name. And let's put a price. So item and we have price, which was here. Okay, good. So we've taken care of these, these items. Um, we want to not redirect to any of the edit, delete, or adding a picture uh, methods, but we do want to have some type of hyperlink to show details, but, you know, from the point of view of the user controller. So let's just put user into that URL and let's use this hyperlink to guide us to the user controller product details. Let's call that product details. Okay. And let's just put that image around. Let's put the hyperlink around the image. Okay. So we don't need the rest of this. Let's get rid of it. Now, we would want to have a user controller which has the 
something to call the index PHP and something for the product details. But let's make a controller for the user first. So a new file and let's save it as user controller PHP and for this purpose I'll just take the product controller and paste it in because it has most of the functionality that I'm looking for well actually the two methods I'm looking for index here and of course I want to not filter my access for this and the other method that we are looking for is the detail method we're gonna get rid of everything else okay so this one is called product detail and the other is called index when we get the product from the product model it does not return the file name from the database because well there is no file name attached to a product well no, not a single one at least so we're gonna need to change our database before we do anything else and let's look at the model for product so that we can state what we want to get so in reality what we want is to get everything from product left join picture on something like product dot default picture is equal to picture dot picture id and the way to get this is by getting everything from product and additionally file name this is what we want to accomplish as a query so get everything from the um, all the all the fields from product table and also the file name field from the picture table um, and this is going to be from product left join picture so every product is going to be in there and if there is no picture attached to the product then so be it and we are going to associate the product and the picture through the default picture uh, foreign key field which does not exist in our database yet so let's go to our database and add this field in so our shopping database we have a product table and our product table needs to have a modification in its structure we are going to add one column after price click go call this default picture leave it as an integer now we want this default picture to be optional so let's click null to make sure the field is nullable and give it also a default value of null save let's look at our data so right now the default pictures are null for both of these products which is good let's actually set one picture right away in our picture table we have the picture id 5 which is for the milk so picture id 5 for the milk let's just set it here okay this is going to allow us to test our application now we're not we're not done yet um, let's go back to our user controller and make sure that things are all right uh, we're going to have the index here we're going to get all the products and send these products to the user index view that seems all right as far as the, the product details are concerned uh, we're going to get there in a few moments let's look at the index so we have um, our picture which should appear here with the source 
Now this picture is going to appear as long as there is a picture. Otherwise, well, we're not going to have a picture there, and well, this is going to show some something bad on the screen. So uh, we want to actually verify whether or not the file name exists before sending anything out there. So we're going to use the ternary operator for this, and we're going to check that is set for the file name. If it is set, then we will output the file name, and otherwise, we will output default.png. If we look at our images folder, yes. So you just put a default PNG image in this folder so that it can get called in the case when item file name is not set. Good. And now for the product details. Let's use the view, the detail view from the product controller again and let's just make a file called product detail in our user views so a new file and we're going to save this as product detail.php and from the detail view here let's just copy that and paste it in we're going to delete a few of the things that don't need to be there for a normal user such as uh, the picture deletion and also um, stuff that might not be relevant let's look so we have product details we have name description price we have the list well actually the whole picture album and uh, let's just delete the whole hyperlink Yes. And then back to the list. This should go back to user index. So to recall, under core, we have our set of filters and we have our admin filter, which is here, which redirects users that are not logged into the login page, whereas they could redirect to the user controller instead. So let's set it as such. 